merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us.
We begin our day and we begin our celebration by reminding ourselves that we are God's signs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist, writer of the first gospel. We pray in a very special way for those who carry out the work of preaching and teaching the Word of God. And we pray for all of us who are called by the Lord to spread His Word, to preach and to teach by the lives we lead. Let us now humble ourselves and recognize our unfaithfulness and ask for the Lord's pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are the way. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when we insist on our own way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the truth. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when you do not proclaim nor live your truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are life. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when what we say and what we do do not give life to ourselves and to others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. On the Feast of St. Mark, we glorify the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that he may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore Confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this brief, briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord, who is like the Lord among the sons of God? 
Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. We proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel passage from St. Mark, we see Jesus sending his 11 disciples, telling them to preach the good news to all. And as they do, there are accompanying signs that proclaim what their works are about and where their works come from. They will be given the power to speak new languages, cast out demons, and cure the sick, and the Lord will protect them from harm. Notice the Lord's reassuring words to his disciples. His words come true. The special confirming signs that are again mentioned at the end of this short passage, signs that reveal what the disciples' works are all about and where their works come from. And they went and proclaimed the good news everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied it. As Jesus returns to the Father, we are all called to become not just disciples or followers, but apostles, men and women sent on a mission. Our mission is to be the Lord's saving presence in the world, to carry on the Lord's ministry, to teach, to preach, to heal, and to deliver others from all sorts of afflictions and troubles by the lives we live through our life-giving word and work, making good use of the many gifts and capacities God has blessed us with, to be walking, breathing reminders that the risen Lord is truly alive, active, and present among us. My dear friends, we are sent and God's signs will be, all, will be all over us, surrounding us, within us, to assure us. And we who are sent will serve as signs to one another and to all we will meet on the journey. Signs that will assure and offer comfort and courage. Signs that will help others remember that God never forgets and they are never alone. Signs that will remind them that they are precious and loved. Signs that our generous, loving God is everywhere and He knows what we need and He always will find ways to come to us and to be near us. You are sent and you are sent as a sign. As we live out, my dear friends, our being the Lord's signs in the world, do we let others see clearly what our works, what our lives are all about and what our works and where our works come from, do we let others see this clearly? Let me share with you a little story to end our reflection today. If one goes to um, Rio de Janeiro, you know, there's the world-famous Ipanema Beach. Not too far from that, there is a Catholic church, and these days, many people visit the church. Even those who go to the beach, surfing after that, they go to the church, and in particular, visit this little shrine in the church. There is a tomb there that contains the remains of a young man who died in 2009. This young man is Guido Schaffer. 
Guido Schaffer, now called the Surfer Angel of Brazil. He was a very good surfer, but in fact, he died of a surfing incident in 2009. Guido Schaffer loved to surf. He was a medical doctor, and part of his work as a medical doctor was to voluntarily reach out to the poor, giving free medical services, how he loved the poor. He would also many times you know, spend free medical service for the uh, people cared for by the center of Mother Teresa's nuns. His service to the poor led him to a vocation, a new vocation that he discovered, and that this is priesthood. So as a medical doctor, he also entered the priesthood. But the incident happened, the surfing incident happened on his fourth year of theology, months before ordination, and he died. But when he died, there were many people who flocked to his uh, funeral, many bishops, thousands of people. And among these people were many, many surfer, surfers from Brazil, you know, from the beach in Ipanema. You see, Guido was a very gregarious, fun-loving man, very friendly, and part of his work, even as he served many poor people, he gathered many surfers around him, even gathering them, organizing little prayer circles, sharing circles. His work, his life, his giving was a big inspiration to all. Guido loved life, he loved surfing, he gathered many friends, but his life was a testimony of the Lord's goodness, of the Lord's presence in the world. He inspired many people. That's why today, even as people enjoy, have fun on the beach, many of them would also go to the shrine and pray at his tomb. And there at the tomb, one can find even surfing boards or little surfing souvenirs left by people whose uh, they say whose um, uh, favors, no, requests for prayers have been granted through the intercession of Guido. May his life inspire us, this modern, very contemporary person, inspire us in our own effort to live our lives following the Lord and leading other people closer to the Lord. Amen. Let us now offer our many prayers and needs to the Father, trusting that will grant us what is best for us. For every prayer we say, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. That we may bring the gospel, Jesus' living word of hope, to a world marked by inordinate consumerism, secularism, at the same time by fear and anxiety, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. That inspired by the example of St. Mark, young people may listen to a deeper inclination of the heart and find meaning and happiness by sharing what they have, we pray. Lord, Lord hear us. us. That missionaries and evangelizers may work hand in hand in their common mission, just like in the time of the apostles and their collaborators, we pray. Lord, Lord hear us. That we may open our hearts to Christ and help change the world by being witnesses to Christ's love and new life, a story that unfolds in Mark's gospel, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear us. That the Lord may welcome our beloved dead to the company of the apostles, martyrs, and saints in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord hear us. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays today, especially Diane, Gabriel, Rabena. Dolly Tolentino, Costudio Jr., Virginia Nambong Conchita Toda, Father Cali Llamado, Custodio and Virginia Nambong, Mimi Atilano, for the healing of Susan Bernardo, for the repose of the souls of Miguel Antonio Macuha, Tong Di Liaco, Father Jim O'Donnell, S.J., Artemia Dolotina, Ed Milana. For the special intentions of Anna Arce, Aga Camarata, Rosalie Valera, St. Paul University Philippines Tugegarao, Michael Stephen Nambong, Teodoro Motin, 
and for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. We pray. Lord, hear us. All these we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and a good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of that in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, Peter Faber, and all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan. Aleluya! At isikaw